DaVinci Resolve offers several options for text customization, ranging from simple on-screen text to pre-animated lower thirds. Let's take a look at each. With the edit page selected, open the effects panel on the left side of the interface. If the drop-down menus aren't expanded, click to open Toolbox, then select Titles. Within the Titles area, you'll see a variety of options, including basic titles, which are best for simple, static text, fusion titles, which are pre-animated titles created using Resolve's fusion tools, and subtitles, which are used for captioning purposes. Let's take a look at basic titles first. Click the text title and drag it onto your timeline to get started. If you already have footage in your timeline, make sure you place the title on a track above your footage. To change how long the text appears on screen, you can click and hold either side of the text layer to extend it, just like you would a video clip. To customize the title, go to the inspector at the top right of the screen. From here, the rich text field is where you can input your text, and then you'll find a variety of parameters to customize your title below, such as the font, paragraph spacing, size, color, and more. You can also add enhancement effects such as a stroke, drop shadow, or background to make your text visible against any busy footage. Now, let's talk about how to animate your titles. Any text parameter with a keyframe icon next to it can be animated. For example, to add a zoom animation to your text, first, set a keyframe at the starting point by clicking the keyframe icon. Then, move the playhead forward in the timeline and adjust the zoom setting forward or backward. This is done by decreasing or increasing the numerical value. In just a few clicks, this will apply a simple zoom animation to your text. If you want to further adjust how the keyframes are timed, you can do so with the keyframe assistant. Open the keyframe assistant by clicking the keyframe editor icon on the text layer itself. With this menu open, select a keyframe, right click, and choose ease in to smooth the animation. You can also fade in the text the exact same way you would fade in a video or audio clip. To do that, drag the small white handles on the layer's edges to the left or right. This will create a classic fade in or fade out effect for your text. For more refined animations, you can use Fusion Titles, which leverage DaVinci Resolve's powerful Fusion tools. Navigate to the Fusion Titles within the Title Toolbox section that was mentioned earlier. Then, use your mouse to preview any title by scrubbing through the title just as you would a video clip. Here, you can see a wide variety of titles, from simple animated lower thirds to playful introductions. Resolve comes with a wide variety of built-in presets, which is great if motion graphics isn't your thing. These work exactly the same as your standard title. Just drag the Fusion title onto your timeline, then adjust the properties in the Inspector panel. If you click back and forth between the standard text and Fusion titles, you can see that the Fusion titles typically have fewer adjustable properties when compared to the basic text. The trade-off there is that Fusion titles offer built-in animations, making them a convenient option for quick, polished results. You could, in theory, go to the Fusion page to adjust the animation, but without pre-existing Fusion knowledge and how animated node structures work, you may end up breaking the animation. For more control over animated text, you can use Text Plus. This is similar to the basic text tool, but it is Fusion-based, which offers a wide variety of parameters. If you add it to your timeline and open the inspector, you can see that there are significantly more settings available, including 3D rotation, rotating individual letters, shading, softness, and more. You really can control a ton using Text Plus, but since you're working inside the inspector and using sliders, it may not be as intuitive as moving the text directly like you would in a compositor like After Effects. If the idea of spending hours moving sliders and animating keyframes sounds like a tedious chore, using pre-made DaVinci Resolve templates from the Storyblocks library can simplify the process and save you time. Once you've found and downloaded a template, unzip the template in your files and then open the Fusion page in Resolve. Navigate to Effects, Templates, Edit, Titles, then click the three-dot menu in the upper right corner of the Effects panel and select Show Folder. Copy the entire downloaded template folder into this location and it will be imported into Resolve. Returning to the Edit page, you'll find these newly added titles at the bottom of the panel ready to use. 
The Storyblocks library offers thousands of professionally animated text packs to choose from, helping to speed up your workflow and make your videos stand out. If you're interested in learning more, you can click the link right above or in the description down below. The final text element that you can add are subtitles. To do this, drag the subtitle text generator from the effects panel onto the timeline. You'll see that a new dedicated subtitle track will appear instead of the text being applied to a video track. Just like fusion titles, basic text, and text plus, subtitles are edited in the inspector. However, unlike these other text types, when you need to add a new subtitle for a new line of dialogue, you don't need to add an additional text generator. Instead, you can click Add New from the Inspector panel to insert a new subtitle at your playhead. Given the nature of subtitles, you'll only want to add these once your edit has been finalized. If you're using the studio version of DaVinci Resolve, you can create subtitles automatically from the audio in your video. Simply navigate to Timeline, Create Subtitles from Audio. From there, you can tweak a few basic settings and click Create. Once the subtitles are generated, you can refine them manually using the Inspector panel. Again, this feature is not available in the free version of DaVinci Resolve, so if you are using the free version, you'll need to add these subtitles manually. When you're ready to export the video, you can adjust subtitle parameters under the subtitle settings section at the bottom of the video tab on the delivery page. For instance, if your video is in English and you've been asked to include Spanish subtitles for upload but don't want them burned into your video, you can export the subtitles as a separate SRT file. Once exported, you can upload the SRT file alongside your video to platforms like YouTube. And that covers a few ways to add text to your video in DaVinci Resolve. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Then head over to storyblocks.com for unlimited downloads of royalty-free 4K footage, templates for DaVinci Resolve, music, and more.